It's time for Dutch Oven Cooking with C-Dub. Here's your host, C.W. Butch Welch. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We've got a 12-inch cast iron Dutch oven, and we've got a can of pumpkin pie mix. We don't have to worry about the sugar or the spices in this. Uh, we just have to put that in. We're going to put that in our Dutch oven. And all we're going to do is level this out. We're not... Next, we're going to take three eggs. I'm going to break them in this bowl. And we're going to mix these with a can of evaporated milk. And what this does, this egg milk mixture, gives this dessert kind of a custardy effect. And so, just a, a quick, few quick turns with our beaters to get those eggs started to mix up. Then we're going to take our old time church key, we used to call that when I was a kid. We're going to open up our evaporated milk, pour that in there, mix with the eggs. This is going to go over our pumpkin, quick and simple, like I said. Okay, just mix this up with our eggs. Okay, and this... I'm just going to pour gently over my pumpkin. Next we're going to take a cake mix. Now, we don't have to mix this up. We're just going to sprinkle it in over our liquid, over our pumpkin. The last thing we're going to put in, we've got a stick and a half of melted butter, and we're just going to drizzle this over the top of all of our other ingredients. We're going to now, what we're doing here when we're baking with our dust oven, this is just like we're baking at home, where we have a top element and a bottom element. So we're going to start here with our bottom element. We're going to just pull some charcoal briquettes over here. And I'm using a 12 inch Dutch oven so I want a circle of briquettes about the diameter of my Dutch oven. I'm never going to have two briquettes touching. I just want nice even heat on the bottom. Now the primary heat for baking is going to come up here on top and we're not going to bother to count these briquettes. We're just going to go all the way around that outside edge with about three in the middle. Guess what? I am smelling our pumpkin dump cake. It is done. I don't even have to look, but we're going to not only look, I'm going to take a sample. So let's see how our pumpkin dump cake turned out. We're just going to take the lid off. Oh, and if you could only smell that. 